You and he would have preferred to have it happen in a win, but can you describe the emotion in that dugout when CC recorded 3,000? Yeah, um, really awesome. I mean, I, I don't have to tell you guys what kind of teammate he is. And to all those guys in there, whether it's a guy like Gardy who's played with him for such a long time, or the rookies that walk into this room for the first time, he's just a special person that makes you feel part of the team, allows you to be yourself. Um, and, and obviously, you know, a game that dates back to the 1800s to be only the 17th guy to get to 3,000 is amazing. Um, but I think it means a lot to the guys in that room because they know who he is. And uh, so tonight, you know, obviously frustrated we lost, but tonight's about us celebrating the man and, and what's been an amazing career. And uh, just really happy for him and his family. And, you know, to, to get to be a little bit part of it is, is, is cool. Knowing that it was likely to happen tonight, did you say anything different coming into tonight's game? And what did you say to him thereafter? No, my, my concern was with him hitting. Other than that, I got out of his way and um, thought he was thought he was really good early. You know, I, you know, I thought in Anaheim maybe you could tell it, he was preoccupied by it a little bit. But I thought from the get go he was making pitches, and then to get through it, you know, he, he was pitching. He he was himself. I thought he dealt with the what was upon him very well, um, and then getting it, and then being able to really focus right back in. Thought he threw the ball overall pretty well tonight. So, um, you know, I, I, I get out of his way. What do you think about just cementing his Hall of Fame credentials? Hall of Famer. Um, he's a Hall of Famer. I mean, uh, you know, this is one of those big numbers, you know, a handful of numbers in our game, 500 homers, you know, 3,000 hits, 3,000 strikeouts, 300 wins, which is kind of going away. I mean, those are numbers, again, since the 18, 1800s that I think instantly kind of qualify you from a longevity standpoint, and then you follow it up with just how good of a pitcher he's been, how dominant he's been at times in his career, how he's been able to evolve to the kind of pitcher that he is now. Um, to me, he's a no-brainer. No matter when it happens, you guys have planned to come out there and give him a hug one by one. Like no, no. So, um, matter of fact, Aaron, uh, Judge, and, and uh, Hap asked me before the game, and I just said, we're just going to react. We're going to let the moment tell us what to do. Um, and if that means we run out there and it's the second out of the inning, if that means we stand out in front of the dugout and applaud, we'll, we'll just do whatever we think's right. And we weren't going to take any, a cue from anyone. We were just going to respond to the moment in, in celebration of our, our, of our, of our guy.